Hi everyone, Grant for the Flame Learning Channel. In the previous video, we looked at three different views to represent animation. As a quick reminder, you have the Channels view, the Tracks view, and the Info view. In this video, you're going to cover the concepts of copying and pasting animation. The reason for making a video on this universal subject is that you can copy and paste curves, copy and paste keyframes, as well as copy and paste with an offset. So having an understanding of how it works will certainly give you the expected results. If you'd like to follow along, just create a simple animation with one graphic and a second graphic with no animation. So if you haven't already done so, display the animation curve. Now copying and pasting is purely selection driven. This will determine whether copying an entire animation curve or just a selection of keyframes. For example, to copy a channel's entire animation curve, you select the channel by either selecting it in the channel list or simply click the curve. The white colour tells you the whole curve is selected. Click the copy button and then go to the destination channel. In my case, it is the exposition channel. Click the paste button. The animation curve is pasted and when you scrub the time bar, the animation is identical for each surface object. Please note that the copy and paste buttons are not mapped to a keyboard shortcut by default. You can do this by opening up the keyboard shortcuts editor and assigning any available keystrokes. Now when you are copying and pasting a selected curve and not a selected keyframe, regardless of where your position is placed, the new curve will always be pasted in the same position as the original curve. If you wanted to paste with an offset, you will need to select the keyframes instead. We'll cover that later in this video. Now undo the pasted animation and you will now look at copying and pasting keyframes. To select the keyframes, you can't just click on the curve or the channel as before. Flame requires you to be very specific about what you're selecting. So navigate to a keyframe, hold CONTROL and drag a box selection over the keyframe or selection of keyframes. When the keyframes are highlighted like this, this is a keyframe selection and not a curve selection. Click the copy button and navigate to the destination channel. You will need to select the channel as the destination and press the paste button. Note that only the selected keyframes have been pasted and when you scrub the time bar, the second graphic only moves for that portion of the animation. You can also use the keyframe selection to paste into an existing curve that already has its own keyframes. If you use the curve selection instead, it would overwrite any animation already existing in the destination channel. So you have multiple options depending on what you want to do. As a reminder, if you wanted to select keyframes from a curve that overlaps other curves, Use Control F to perform a focused box selection instead of just Control for a regular box selection. This was covered in an earlier video in the animation series. Now, since you have this flexibility with copying and pasting keyframes, you would also use the same workflow to paste animation with an offset. For example, undo the pasted animation curve once more. This time, you can do another box selection over the keyframes. Press the copy button and select the destination channel. Now you can determine where to paste keyframes based on the positioner. So if you copy and paste a keyframe at the same frame, it will paste at the same point in time. But if you move the positioner to another frame and click the paste button, the copied keyframe will be pasted to the new frame. With a multi keyframe selection, the first keyframe will always be pasted at the positioner and the other keyframes will paste forward and keep their timings. So that's how you would paste animation and include an offset. 
Please note that if you wanted to move curves and keyframes as opposed to copying them, you would use the same steps, except you would use the cut button instead of the copy button. So that's what you need to know about copying and pasting animation between channels. In the next video, you'll cover the insert key function, which can help with some very interesting use cases with animation. Comments, feedback and suggestions are always welcome and appreciated. Please subscribe to the Flame Learning channel and click the bell to be notified for future videos. Thanks for watching and hope to see you soon.